Welcome to this Alchemist Chemistry video. I'm just going to show you how to grow a huge copper sulfate crystal. What I have here suspended in this beaker is a small seeding crystal, which I'm going to use to grow my larger crystal from. Just to the right of the previous crystal, I've got a much larger crystal we've been growing for a while, also suspended from a piece of string, which I can move around up and down to lower it into a saturated solution of copper sulfate. And over time, both of these crystals will grow larger and larger. So I'm kind of going to see comparatively which one grows larger in the time provided. I'd imagine the right hand one, but it will be a bit of a competition. Let's get started. So now you can see I've suspended our small seeding crystal above a beautiful blue saturated solution of copper sulfate. What I'll do is I'll lower the crystal into that solution shortly, and then I'll leave it for a long period of time to grow. And then periodically I'll come back and see how it's doing and film how it's growing. And then after it's grown sufficiently, I'll take it out of solution and dry it out and then show it to you all at the end. So now we have both crystals floating gently in our deep blue copper sulfate solution. I'm gonna leave these for a long period of time, possibly a number of months, and grow them as large as possible. And occasionally I'll update the video with the progression. And then at the end of that time period, we'll see just how big we can grow these crystals. This video is one week later. You can see quite a significant growth of both of our original crystals. And I've been growing a couple more just for good measure. And I'll keep growing these for the next few weeks and maybe even months to see just how large we can grow these copper sulfate crystals. Very exciting. Okay guys, here we are one month later and I want to take you through some of the growth of the crystals we've been trying to grow over that period. Um, so, quick disclaimer, uh, unfortunately the method we're using slightly failed in the fact that the cotton string we were using was so weak it snapped continuously as the crystals grew, so I had to flip to evaporating basins to continue the growth of the crystals. They've lost, some of them have lost that lovely rhomboid diamond shape, but the key objective was to grow crystals really large and we've managed to achieve that. So this crystal here is one of our originals, okay? Just give you a quick idea of the size of the original crystals. We started with the seeding crystals. There's my fingernail, so really quite a small crystal. Now I'm gonna to move to some of the crystals we managed to grow in a one month period. So here we go. Here is crystal number one. What a nice substantial size there for that crystal compared to the tiny little one we had before. Um, uh, again, the shape's gone a bit uh, amorphous because of the nature of the growing in an evaporating basin rather than on string, but a lovely huge crystal there. Number two, this is again a month's worth of growth. Number three, beautiful crystal there. And now the piece de resistance, the slightly larger crystal we were growing, number four, is here. And that is a really quite substantial crystal. So I'm going to pick up the crystal so you can get a real idea of its actual size and as a comparison to my size of my hand. Um, now I can pick up this crystal because I've actually lacquered it with some nail varnish, meaning the copper sulfate, which is usually harmful, is perfectly safe to handle because it is covered in a transparent layer of um, lacquer, effectively. So uh, here's our crystal, and if I just pop it in my hand here, you can get an idea of just how large that crystal's grown. There is the crystal against the size of my hand, and it really is massive compared to our original seeding crystal. I'm going to grab the seeding crystal in a second, do a direct comparison, and it really will emphasize just how large this crystal is and how much it's grown over that one month period. And so this gives you a raw comparison of the difference in size between the seeding crystal and our huge crystal after one month. So originally it was the size on the left, and now after a month of growth, it is the size on the right. I think you agree quite a marked difference across the course of just one month's growth. I really hope you enjoyed this video on how to grow big crystals from little seed crystals. As always, if you found this video interesting or enjoyable, please do think about giving it a like. You could always subscribe to the channel for more videos. You could even ring the bell to be notified of our latest content. I try and put out videos on a weekly basis. That includes sort of practical videos like this. And thank you so much for watching to the end. Take care. Bye now.